Miss them hiding season. The Halloween. So every day, <laughs> ooh, spooky. Right? I fucking, dude, I hate it, man. It, it defaults to reverb every fucking time. <laughs> it knows you so That's well. That's what happens when you're in a psych band. Are you, <laughs> I, 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 you are going to use reverb. You know. Right. Are we... Uh, say, we are rolling. Nice. All right. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Episode, what, 13, I think? 13? You're here with our they man. They bed for Halloween. Oh, dude, it should have, man. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, oh. just hold, <laughs> hold on. Can we do like twelve point five, yeah, uh, like decimal points up until then? Just because. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be I'll, hilarious. We'll, we'll just wait to release this. It's Perfect. it really is episode thirteen. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, we're joined today by two special friends. We all know and love Domino Sandry. Domino, thank you for returning to our humble studio. Oh, anytime. And to my right over here is a new friend, Rob. How are you today? I'm all right. Have you listened to our podcast before? I tried to, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not saying that because it was bad or anything. <laughs> That's what they just, all say. Uh, <laughs> it, it it wouldn't load on my phone because the the iPhone I'm using is very old. Got you. And it's a piece of shit now, and uh, I can't afford to buy anything. So, well, you're up on Spotify now, right? That's exactly and right. Apple Music. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I can use uh, that. iTunes. I iTunes. I iTunes. Maybe not Apple Music. I don't know. Is that different? I have. No I don't idea. know. I should know these things. We'll talk to our marketing I think guy. It, no, it's both. Is and it? iTunes is a complete piece of shit cunt, and fuck you, Apple. All right, hey. Yeah. You're, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to you're gonna have to cut that out. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we like having our podcast on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, so, yeah, gracious yeah. masters. <laughs> yes, I was we love joking. You. I was joking. That That's, was oh, classic, classic Phil. <laughs> that, what what no. was what's so bad about Apple? Well, no, be, because Apple, you need the exact size logo, the exact size, the exact format of the audio clip, the exact format of the page, and and if you get one thing wrong, you gotta wait for them to reapprove you. And Spotify, it's just like you want to be on Spotify, one click. Okay, you're on in ten minutes. Ten fucking minutes. I got an email and you're on. Do I have? A, am I on Spotify? I can't remember. You are through. Hear nothing. See nothing. Say nothing. If you want to feel oppressed and poor, go on Spotify. <laughs> point, point zero 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 two cents yeah, per play. Yeah, per play, yeah. That does piss me off, I'll be honest, but it's a great platform for, like, starting artists. Sure, and I don't know, instead of having, like, a lengthy URL or, like, search for me on Facebook, you know, it's just go to Spotify. I'm there. I love using Spotify. Spotify is great. There's, yeah. there's more, like, weird, obscure punk music on Spotify than anything else I've ever seen than YouTube, which ends up blocking most of it anyway. And recommendations, right? Yes. Yeah, that's the best thing. That's, that's nice. That's really cool. That's really, that's good for you guys. Yeah. The, <laughs> uh, who's going to recommend us? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's oh, why. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. The, at this point, the only way you get new listeners <laughs> is via sure. that. Do you think, I wonder, have you looked, Phil? Does it say like, oh, if you listen to this, you might also enjoy Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Oh, no, I haven't looked at that. But I have a story. When I, when I was in my psych band, which I don't know, you compared to like... King King Gizzard or Brian Jones Tom Asker, I I I gave a shitload of like card like I had download cards so I gave yeah. a shitload of them to my you know my hood friends where I almost got shot with Carlos and so it would say um, if you like Kroll Klex you might like the psych band Glitter Wizard which is like this stoner band from Minneapolis or Eminem. What <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder about that shit too like some of the some of the connections they make. Oh, I got to look up Dan Cummins. Okay. So, uh, do you know who Dan Cummins is? Dan I, Cummins I is that a, name. he's a comedian. Um very funny. I'm a huge fan. Uh but oh god damn it, my phone doesn't I can't connect to the internet. My Spotify is like the weirdest or not Spotify Pandora. My car when I plug in my phone automatically defaults to Pandora because of some weird programming thing that my stereo system has. It's yeah. like Pandora, the Pandora version. It's annoying as fuck, but whatever. For whatever reason, you cannot do anything. You can't change Pandora's like stations ish yeah, while it's plugged in. So it just plays fucking whatever it wants, and which is really weird because there's a lot of stand up and a lot of heavy metal, and I don't listen to like any <laughs> heavy metal. I hate comedy um, and I hate heavy metal. But there's a song that we were listening to on the way here called Darkness, and it was. 
I don't know if it was heavy metal, but it it was me- some it was variation of metal. Generic rock. It was rock. gangsta grass, right? It, no, no, it was not gangsta grass. <laughs> I saw. We'll talk about that later. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it was by Dan Cummins. Same exact spelling, and I thought that that was a coincidence or something was fucked up on there. But I'm listening to the. Uh, to the vocals and it actually kind of sounds like him but it's not a joke song it is definitely not a joke so song it's not, it very metal good. it's not very good i disagree it was a joke song <laughs> <laughs> okay no it was a bad song it was I don't, I don't know if it was intended to be a joke um but so, i really want to look it up and see if that's actually dan cummins or if there's some <laughs> other dude out there producing music with the exact same name and the exact same voice right? and the exact same the voice stalker. Yeah. there you go there's our promotion for the episode go check out dan cummins hit new single darkness <laughs> apologies in advance well we what, what were we talking about when you got almost arrested for changing a tire oh, no, I, I did a fucking get arrested. Ca- oh not, you did not for oh, changing not the home. tire. wait let's back up for our uh, listeners yeah we were talking about you know the positive topic about how much we only like dead cops right a cab yeah a cab right what's so, a cab uh, all all cops are bastards. Ah, okay, that's fun. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're fond of our, you know, civil servants in blue, the Chicago's finest. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm just here like trying to maintain PR with the world. Oh, okay. you, you guys, you guys <laughs> yeah. are burning the bridges, and then with the cops, you know, yes, sir, of course, sir. Well, did you hear? Uh, like, um, I just read this now that on Labor Day, they're gonna have another fucking protest on uh, O'Hare oh, Airport. On Oh, at O'Hare, I thought they were shutting down the highway again yeah, on Lakeshore yeah. Drive. Yeah, on I-90 right before O'Hare, so nobody can reach. Like, wh- all the people flying in from Labor Day vacation, they can't fucking get out. Because they're hmm. going to... Which is fucking... Was this a social experiment? No, it's, it's to sell their cars. But in the airport? Yeah, right? Did you ever see The Terminal? I love that movie. That's a great movie. Sandry? I have not. Oh, my I've God. Tom it. Hanks I, in his yeah, finest you, you, role. You just started looking at me, and I knew it was coming. I had to be embarrassed and say, no, I've never seen uh, it. Finally, a movie I've seen that people haven't. Like Generally, when I talk to Phil, it's, oh, you know that part in Scarface? You know that part in Goodfellas? You know that part in like any other movie I haven't seen? But <laughs> finally. <laughs> I've actually never seen Goodfellas. I have seen Scarface, though. So. Scarface overrated, by the way. Maybe that's on top of it. I know you're trying to maintain Ooh. PR with the world, but fuck Scarface. I think it's, it's way overrated. It is overrated. Well, that's why they're remaking it now. I heard that. <laughs> I can't wait for that because that'll be funny. They're gonna get it right this time, dude. The game on. I was so mad because I wish it was on like Xbox or further, but it was on uh, PS2, so it fucking loads up. Game. Right? Don't you like have to take a shitload of coke to yeah. replenish? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a pretty funny game. It was it was fun, but but yeah, it, like like what I loved about that movie is it like it was. I felt like you know you're white if you watch that movie and you're like, I don't ever want to do coke. But, <laughs> if, but, but 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 if you're like Latino and you watch, you're like, dude, let's do a bunch of blood. I found my calling. Yeah. You're talking about the terminal, right? Man, I could go for some cocaine right about now. Right. So I want to go back to Rob's prison story or okay, jail story. Yeah, yeah. So it was uh, it was like mid January, and I was was probably around eight o'clock at night, and I was heading back to Desplaines from Carol Stream and uh there was there was this old lady stopped and standing outside of her car in the turn lane on North Avenue going on to eighty three and uh like almost getting wiped out by all these cars. She's trying to flag down a car for something. So I stopped behind her and asked what was going on and she her tire blew out. So she needed help changing her tire because the little old lady, she couldn't, you know, changing a tire isn't the easiest thing for everybody. Uh, so I changed the tire for her and I made my turn on the 83. I didn't know that my back turn signal was out. So I got pulled over like immediately. And the cop told me that he had been watching me. He said, uh, well, yeah, I've been watching you since you helped that old lady change your tire back there. Well, I noticed you you didn't use your signal when you turned. Like checked it. And, okay, the turn signal was out. He I'm taking you warning. in. At the yeah, time, the fuck? I was writing on a ticket as my license, uh, which I had had for a long time, because trying to get that thing 
ticket taken care of was taking forever. So I didn't know that my driver's license had expired during the time that I had that ticket on me. Um, so I gave the cop the ticket, and he went, you know, to use that as my license or whatever, and came back, grabbed his belt, did that thing where they lean forward on their toes while he had his thumbs in his belt line. <laughs> like, wow. I know that. I know that exact pose. It uh, it looks like you're coming with was me he tonight, a model? sir. And I'm <laughs> like, what? Like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, this shows that your driver's license has been expired for more than a year. It's like, how the fuck would I know that? If I didn't even have the license with me. Yeah. But they don't care. Anyway. So, like. I think that's such a weird thing to, like, get arrested for. Yeah, well. Though. The big kicker was they had just changed the law on that that month at the beginning of January and uh, made it a felony instead of just a misdemeanor. Uh, huh. So I just caught that. The ad sucks. Yeah. So, like, me being, like, a punk guy was covered in metal stuff and I got a bunch of, you know, my leather coat full of spikes and like I'm wearing like three belts. I got probably six knives on me. Like, great. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. I'm, I'm emptying my pockets. I'm taking all my stuff off, putting it in my car, which the, the guy who just the helped the old lady was like about to get towed away for a week and it was gonna cost me a fucking thousand dollars to get back. <laughs> I actually but, yeah, was like I was yeah, right after really helping recently. this little old lady and freezing my ass off changing a tire like, so I'm in a great mood. <laughs> so moral of the story is don't help anybody ever. <laughs> and check, and use your turn signal. Well, this goes, I mean, there's there's a lot after this, too. Like, at the actual jail was a fucking nightmare. So. Was it county, like, uh, on the south side, right? It was, uh, well, this was at DuPage County. Oh, okay. So it's that actually, I grew up, like, uh, connected a couple blocks like away the from DuPage there. DuPage Courthouse and all that, yeah. you know? So they <laughs> took me there. And um, I'm I'm diabetic, and I only have four toes. And my right foot is half gone, and I was wearing big boots at the time. And like, so for one, as I'm getting into all of the like the orange jumpsuit and all that stuff in the holding area, the cops start making fun of me for having half a foot gone. Uh. And uh, I couldn't even I couldn't wear up. the I couldn't wear the shoe that they had, you know, because it's like this goofy Velcro shoe, yeah. and my nub didn't fit in it. It just like would fall out every step I took. So the cops were on purpose walking behind me and like curb stomping my heel so I would oh. trip and fall. That's really fucked up. It's yeah. really fucked up, <laughs> and that's that's just the tip of the iceberg. Still, I was there for a couple of days and. They wouldn't give me my medication, which I had on me and had my name on it, but because it was syringes and insulin, I wasn't allowed to take it. And the doctor that they had only comes in one day a week. So I had missed that day when I was in there, you know, so I couldn't see the doctor to give me the okay to, like, let them give me my insulin, which is uh, pretty bad. And I'm also on, like, yeah. a very restricted diet because my kidneys are failing. So prison food is nothing but salt, which is, like, one of the worst possible things you can have when your kidneys are bad. So Brown's chicken pus. <laughs> 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 no, that, that was cruel mostly unusual. poison, but... That's, that's right. fucking... Uh, torture's so not allowed. In, like, <laughs> in the holding area, we're all sitting there, and uh, one side thing, which is actually really funny, when I first got in there, no one else was talking to me. They were all, like, all the other people that were arrested that night in the area just kept going and talking to each other and i'm sitting there like i'm pissed off i'm cold i just went through this shit and th these like, are all people that like got arrested like within a few days right yeah, they're, they're not people yeah. that are there for good right no, so everyone's kind of like, like in the same boat yeah so that's i was confused you know like how come no one's talking to me what the hell yeah well i have i have like skeleton bones tattooed all over my hands yeah and uh so i asked them this guy like, we heard about hell? this guy changing like, tires Y'all, y'all, a bunch of buddies that don't know each other. How come no one's saying a word to me? I even said hello. Yeah. Well, apparently, according to them, the the skeleton hands means that you're like a higher up in some gang over there. What? So nobody There's no fucking gangs. I yeah, grew that's, up that's within a mile I, of that facility. Thought, There's like, no gangs fucking, fucking gangs County. there. Like, all right, <laughs> oh, the, the, these guys. What, what probably happened is that these were a bunch of rich assholes arrested for drug possession because that's what happens there. 
and they heard somewhere that skeleton-handed yeah. people are involved in some gang Don't far mess away with from the that. DuPage skeletons, man. <laughs> yeah. Which, it, it may be like, there's no more fucking mad, gangs like, out know, there. I I got tattoos all over and whatever, but like I'm one of the nicest fucking people you ever talked to. You know, like I just like. <laughs> I'm just goofy and happy, whatever. And you just so helped a lady like, change a tire. Yeah, yeah like when you got arrested I just, for being I just went to jail like for a nice like dude. doing something nice. <sighs> yeah, so funny. like so in in the actual uh the holding cell I was in, me and the other guy that were in there, we heard the cops talking outside of the cell about how they on purpose egg the other prisoners on to try to hit the cops or say something to the cops so that they can be charged with assault towards an officer. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah. You know that, uh, I think this was three or four years ago, they had a breakout? DuPage. Yeah, DuPage County Jail had a breakout <laughs> of two violent criminals. Were they skeletons? <laughs> Back on the streets? Yeah, they were They were the, <laughs> the crazy skeleton gang of uh, of unincorporated Winfield. I mean, I'm just picturing but Debo and his little bitch in next Friday. <laughs> when, they're, when, they're, when the both of them are back, you know, yeah. when they're chained together. I have no idea. I don't know what ever happened with that. All I know is that we were very drunk at the time. <laughs> when you broke out? <laughs> <laughs> when we broke out. No, no, no. <laughs> when, when the breakout occurred and I was at one of my buddy's houses that's literally across the tracks from this. So we're hearing all these sirens and like looking over and like, like stereotypical like searchlights coming off of like the fucking county jail and like cops encircling the whole area and we're sitting here like so getting coming there. out of the mud screaming real loud <laughs> no 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 <laughs> they were they apparently uh were quiet and followed the tracks for a while but i <laughs> i never heard never heard anything about them being caught or or whether i don't know what happened with that i should probably look into that yeah. But we just sat there and, and maybe they did some <laughs> Pablo Escobar shit and had a moped underground. It's it is entirely <laughs> possible. DuPage County very similar scenarios to Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yeah. And not Shawshank Redemption. No, oh. not Shawshank. The these or guys weren't looking to be redeemed. Three and a third. <laughs> Thirty three and a third. Thirty three and oh shit. Yeah. So was that they were egging the prisoners on to take a swing at them? Yeah. It's just, you know, hearing that is like, that is just such bullshit. So I mean, it, there's there's a lot of reasons why I don't trust the police pretty much ever. Yeah. The fact that I've always had problems with them when I've literally done nothing to bring it on to myself. Like, if anything, I do the opposite. And to have to try to have that, like, fake respect for somebody because you know that they'll give you more shit if you don't. Like I was saying earlier, you know, like you have to like, oh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, whatever you yeah. say. I'm pretty sure a canine cop smoked my weed. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I was mad about that. I, I, I had a situation with a canine cop that was shitty. I fucking, when, uh, before I got this place, me and Kelly were going to go like to a ho to an open house to check yeah. out a, this is like an Elk Grove village. And okay. you, you know that fucking animal uh, cop trailer right there? You know, yeah, it. yeah, I do actually. I know exactly what you're talking about like on um uh, Tui. Yeah, it's on Tui right before the tracks, right? Yeah. yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. It just looks like a foreman's trailer in the middle of fucking. Yeah, building. with a bunch of Chicago police, which which I don't understand yeah. that either because they're all Chicago cops. Yeah, but they're it's not fucking Chicago. You're like way outside of the city. I was I was weird. I was driving down by there because we were I forgot where we were going, but. It was like the road over. It wasn't like it was south of Tui, but it was a shitload of construction. And I see like oh, Elmhurst. Was it Elmhurst? It might, yeah, I, th yeah, I think it might have been. Elm but there was a shitload of construction. And I look, and there's like a trembling fucking dog that got hit, like a stray oh. dog, because it got hit by um like in between the construction cones and everything. Yeah. And I see his leg trembling, so I pull over and I try and like hold the dog, and I call like animal control, and they're and they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll be in there in five minutes, and hung up on me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it, by then it died. So oh, Jesus. I was like fucking pit. Like, I never had an, I, I never had a pet in my life. So that was like double sad for me. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's dying in my arms, you know? I have a, I and have an never animal wanted story one. about that. Yeah. <laughs> one of our, one of our close friends and uh, former neighbors has, uh, I guess, was driving. I can't remember why. Something for work was driving through Montana, and saw. The person in front of him hit a deer, 
and then like and you know trail off to the side and pull over and he like pulled over to help this dude yeah and the you know the they called the cops and cops showed up you know um but the deer's still alive and the police officer's there and he's uh, i guess our neighbor looked like told the cop he's like you should he's like you should shoot this animal like he's gonna die like you should you should shoot this animal and the cop couldn't do it so he gave him his his gun <laughs> to shoot it, I, I, it. I, i'm not even fucking kidding he gave him <laughs> his gun to shoot this deer and then and then he said the cop told him he goes you have to get out of here now because you just discharged my weapon <laughs> and like this is like all sorts of felonies like get out of here cross the state line like i won't like i won't i'll make sure they don't follow you and all this shit because the police officer like couldn't put this animal out of its misery yeah drop the gun bring the cannoli <laughs> uh, if only if it was a person it might have been a different story. oh i'm sure if it, yeah in montana if it was no a black problem. dude i'm sure yeah. Yeah. i can do it you do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah he's gonna ask what yeah ask my neighbor to shoot the black guy <laughs> here beat oh, him god I haven't reached it's my sad. asshole belt in being a cop yet. You know, you do. <laughs> I've got I the love that down. fucking belt grab thing, too. Because that to- that, every, that's... Every I've, time. Yeah, I was going to say, that's that happened to me before. And they, that like, same... they lean forward on their toes. Like, yeah, like yeah. the... <laughs> <laughs> like, we've all seen Cool Hand Luke, all right? Like, we get it. Dude, I I, uh, I was downtown yesterday. Cause, uh, so what happened, I, I think I might've told this before, but I, I was coming back from a show, Black Moth Super Rainbow with Kelly. It was like one in the morning. It was hot as fuck. It was like a heat wave. And, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, like, you know, when you take GPS, what's the fastest route? Mm -hmm. I'm used to the I-90, which is cars only coming from the right of you on the ramp. It told us to take the 290, which is cars coming from both sides. So I'm like falling asleep. Kelly's driving. And then I see this guy touches his mirror, touches her mirror. So I freak out thinking like, cause it's merging from the left. Yeah. So we're going to fucking crash. So I grabbed the wheel from my seat and then we spun in the middle lane, rammed into a guy, almost got hit by a semi and we pull over and it was, dude, this guy was fucking huge. Like looked like, like 50 cent. He was in a new fucking, uh, yeah, guys looked like they could punch a hole through a cow. Yeah, <laughs> he fuck he was, and he had a shitload of like, because he, he was he had a shitload of chains. He was like in the like the newest fucking like outfit because he was one of those um Uber drivers for like the classy Uber. Oh, so he's okay. like a 2018 Uber X or whatever it is. Yeah, he's he's like a 2018 Oldsmobile, and we wrecked black, it. Black car. So we're just like, dude, we're not high. We're really tired. Like, we're sorry. We'll pay for everything. And the cop is like, well, I have to give a ticket. And the one thing I remember, it just reminded me like the 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 belt, belt pull. Yeah. He was a state trooper, so he's a little bit cooler. But the funny thing was, like, as soon as we got hit, like five tow cars showed up out of nowhere because people get hit all the time on the two ninety. Yeah, and they have to clear them off real quick because yeah. of the fuck up traffic. Well, yeah. well, no, well, no, they do it for a commission because the only tow car that's legally okay to come is the one from your insurance. So all these random tow tow drivers come like, oh yeah, I'm you're a triple A, right? No, we're Geico. Yeah, I mean Geico. <laughs> And they, <laughs> and they try and steal the money. So this cop just keeps spitting dip. I just remember that because he spit on me. He's like, fucking buzzards, fucking buzzards. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that shit ain't even legal. And he keeps spitting. And I'm like, but we're cool, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you're mad at them, not me, right? <laughs> yeah. But he had to write out a ticket for uh, sideswiping someone. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, well, I pulled the wheel, even though I wasn't driving. So I'll take the ticket because the guy said he's like, you know, I'm a fucking Uber driver. I'm not going to show up to court, like plead not guilty. So I ended up going to court, and um, yeah, you know it was really weird downtown. Talk about how expensive and shitty Chicago is. Fucking, I showed up at hey, my man. court was at nine. I live there. Come on, dude, we <laughs> love Chicago. Well, here. no, well, no, it's expensive. The, I, but I mean, I, I'm downtown, and uh, they said uh, morning special parking is fifteen bucks from eight a.m. Uh, to like ten. If you show up between eight a.m. and ten, but if you pay morning special. You have to stay a minimum of four hours. What? So, 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 like, I showed up for my court court uh, time at nine. I showed up at eight, and they said you have to be here till noon to pay fifteen bucks. If you leave earlier, you pay fifty. What? Yeah. What kind of insanity? That is just like that's just like. For a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I went to a cigar club and just smoked a cigar. I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do now? And then I found out Jazz Fest is going on. 
they didn't even fucking open because I was there so early. I'm just so I'm just walking around like, you know, closed down tents. What the? F- okay, so can we go back to that rule where? Yeah. Who can? Where does that come? From? Like, it has to be some weird bureaucratic thing, right? Where it's like the only way that they would allow this ordinance yeah. to pass is if this weird fucking thing is. Where do you get those numbers and rules from? Maybe you get parked in. Like they have a special part for the morning people. And so you can't, did you like, where was there easy out? Were they just like regular spots or were you blocked in? No, it was a garage. And, um, oh, then there should be spots. It shouldn't be. Yeah. It's it, not that. And, and the, the weirdest thing was that it wasn't like an owner being like, you know, I want to make more money. So you got to pay 50 bucks if you leave earlier. It was the machine reading it. So like, so I, I got clocked out. I, I clocked in at eight Oh nine. Yeah. And I showed up at like maybe 12 exactly. Cause I'm like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. And it's reading like fifty, sixty dollars. It's like, oh, you gotta wait till twelve oh nine. So I'm just standing there, fucking. Nine That's minutes. so <laughs> fucking weird, though. Like, who came up with that idea? Just yeah. like, and you how know, often do they make a shit ton of money like that, though? Oh, daily, I'm sure. Yeah, people going fuck it. Oh, I'm sure there's people that are like fifty dollars for four hours. That's know, a good deal. You know what was the weirdest fucking thing I saw that I couldn't believe? Like, because I hadn't been downtown in a while. Like, when you go to the city, you go to shows, you go to whatever, Logan Square, Wicker Park. You go to, like, where all the concerts are. Like, downtown is pretty yuppie, you know? So. Yeah, fuck. You, you got to. Okay. Pause real quick. All right. It's all good, man. Here you go. All right. We're taking a quick break. We'll be back. All right. After a word from our sponsors. That's right. Today's episode is brought to you by Apple Music. <laughs> Hail our new masters. <laughs> Yeah, man, we, uh, uh, what was it? I, you know, it was really, I, I went to, I had nothing to do. So I went to the Art Institute. Yeah. And like, oh, maybe it's a free day because it's right by a jazz festival. And you know what I, you know what they had? They had a book, like a picture book on an empty bottle. And my band is in there. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't, they just had a, like a, like a history lineup of like all the bands that play there. And, and we're like in there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I thought it was, it, it was pretty awesome. That, the empty bottle, is that still open? Yeah, it is. Double door, that's the one that shut down, is double yeah. door. Did it shut down finally? It was shut down like a year ago. You I thought that there was a thing with the rent, but then it still stayed open. It did for a while, and then they sh- and then they shut it down. I don't know exactly what happened with all that. All I know is it's no longer, it's no longer open. I went, I went to one of the last shows, like before, because uh, Failure, which is a, hu- they're a huge fucking band. They usually play like Metro or Lincoln Hall. Oh, okay. They were playing Double Door because they heard it was closing down, so they made like a special print poster for that. For a Double Door? Yeah. yeah. Dude, it was like an iconic fucking venue. Like a, it Great was, location. Yeah, and it was a like really good venue, it was particularly for the local scene. Because like that... That and like the like the bottom lounge, the subterranean, like the in that even, sort even of empty caliber. bottle. I didn't know it was yeah that, the like, empty bottle. When you look at some of the old dates, how many famous people were there beforehand and that are famous? Not like White yeah, Stripes played yeah. there, Deer Hunter played. There. I didn't know the White Stripes played there. Yeah. Wow, what's the other one? Shit, there's another one that's gonna bug the crap out of me. Shubas. Not Shubas, fuck Shubas. Mutiny Township. You don't like the Shubas? Mu- the Mutiny. No, the Mutiny barely. It is like the <laughs> yeah, most <laughs> underground of underground fucking venues. That was, that's like the Charnell House. <laughs> Got it. That's the murder shack. <laughs> or or Elbow Room. Well, actually, no, Elbow Room's a decent venue. What what are you thinking of? Uh, uh, it's in, I think it's in Bucktown. It's in Bucktown. Not Abbey. No, I've been there before, and I can't remember the name of it. Can you describe it? Oh, the Beat Kitchen's one, but that's not what I was thinking of. Beat Kitchen's a great venue, too. Never been. Really? Really? We, should, we should go to a show there. Right now. I, well, uh, Let's do it We right played now. a show there. I don't know if you went to the show we played there. Yanni used to live right there, right? Uh, Possibly, yeah. Oh, I, the, I Burlington. the Burlington. Also, Burlington. the Burlington's by me, though. It's not the one I'm thinking of either. Yeah. But the Burlington's mostly metal, I've noticed. Are you thinking of Township? No. No. Okay. It's like it's a well-known name. That's why it's going to bug the shit out of me. Okay. And I, be, I saw Fran play there, if you're familiar, uh, if either of you know who Fran no. is. Mm-mm. Local is Chicago Gangsta band, Grass? they're pretty good. Fran Dress. No, it's not Gangsta Grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um... So should we just start naming bars? <laughs> yeah, <just> <laughs> no. <laughs> we are Tonic so Room. The, it's not the Tonic Room, no. We, uh, so keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Hold so on, I'm gonna, Steve, oh, that's right, I have no fucking internet. <laughs> Phil. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, I ended up going to Art Institute and then Jazz Fest didn't start. So I went back to the parking garage. And today it's going to be Tasted Polonia with nice. Pink Floyd. I'm, I'm pretty pumped, man. It's a sh- it's shitty fucking weather out there. But, I, I mean, I just want to see Pink Floyd. As long as they don't fuck up, wish you were here. So I've yeah. seen Pink Floyd bands fuck up, wish you were here. And yeah. nothing makes me more irrationally <laughs> angry than someone fucking with my favorite song ever written so it's like garbage dump but for you <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that, that, that's a permanent reference on the show <laughs> did i okay so garbage dump this is something a new development in this first new off i have a, i have a new plan to fuck with eric yeah and it involves me buying a shit ton of philip smart light bulbs that i can control from my phone and not telling him <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, much like I did when I was in Canada, fucking with the music while I'm out of the country, and uh, and now I can, uh, now I want to be able to fuck with the lights. But because I did this whole Charles Manson thing so often to him, yeah. first off, it forced him to buy his own Spotify account, <laughs> so, <laughs> so he has his own now, and he he actually like will physically switch off mine on the computer because of that. <laughs> um, but also, my daily mixes now occasionally throw Charles Manson in there oh, because dude. I used it so much that my Spotify algorithm includes him in suggested music. Yeah, if you like this, you might like Jeffrey Dahmer's <laughs> synth. <laughs> yeah, <again>. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Charles oh, Manson is one of my guilty... Dump, oh, it's so good. Oh, garbage dump. Some of, no, some of the... Because f- it was the, the family that was the name of the band. Some of their songs are pretty good. I looked it up because I because I used to listen to their shit and I, I forgot what what it was called. This is your fault, Bill. Look but at your game, girl. Like what is the one where he starts screaming about the wall? Where he has a like I'm fairly certain a psychotic break about halfway through. <laughs> uh, probably most of his songs. <laughs> that is insanity. I remember listening to that with you drunk in your dorm room. <laughs> we were drinking whiskey listening to Charles Manson's discography <laughs> and it was insanity That's what we like were listening to. That, oh, it's it was. Awesome it was a great time. time. Yeah. But like it is fucking creepy. Uh, some, of, some of it's just you, like you can hear the murder. <laughs> hear the murder. But he didn't actually murder anybody. Okay, yeah, I know that's the whole thing. Is he on the direction of him, dude? Oh, I w- he was the puppet master. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was gonna mention. Have you guys ever watched uh, Dark Tourist? No. no. Anybody? No. That sounds familiar. It, it's on Netflix, and it's I like think I probably have. I watch all those weird horror movies on all those things. I just, I most of the time I don't remember which ones are which going by title because I watch so many of them. Yeah, yeah. There is a shitload, but no, Dark Tourist is a it's a TV series, and the host is a oh no yeah I know what you're talking about yeah, and he uh the like the goth guy and all the the like he he visits all these weird places talking about like he 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 went to um I forgot what town it was he went he went to like this town in uh somewhere somewhere in between Russia and and like that one is fairly new on there isn't it yeah yeah. Somewhere it, between Russia and North Africa? Yeah, so I all of <laughs> Europe? <laughs> the Eastern yeah, Hemisphere? Yeah. I'm trying to narrow it down, guys. <laughs> no, no, I don't I don't remember what the fuck it was. It was No, like be, no, it was a weird kind of like by Mongolia, like between Russia and China is what oh, I meant to say. Okay. <laughs> and, and that and, would be Mongolia. I think that's the only thing between and, Russia and China. And there's and he's in this city cuz so it's this, this host that he goes to these different like high risk situations. Where he knows he's gonna get fucked up, and he goes to this city where you're not allowed. It, it's modern day communism. You're not allowed to talk about anything political. If you do, there's there's microphones everywhere, and if you're heard by the public, they they will report you and kill you on the spot. So like he went to like an Olympic what? event, where it was like in this huge marble fucking town. L- like there's like every skyscraper was made of marble, and and there's very few people who can come there. So it was like a huge. It, it 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 was it was nuts, but the, but the episode that I liked, he was interviewing somebody who was a friend, who was friend best friends with Charles Manson near his death. Like near the end of the show, he like almost attacks him. He's like, "No, he was innocent. He's a good fucking guy. All you guys want to interview me because he's a killer. He's a great fucking guy. He was a great person, and and his his you know prophecy will be fulfilled or something." You know? <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Because you know what his prophecy was, right? <laughs> what race, race wars? wars? Yeah. yeah. 
And then Helter all, Skelter. And then all the blacks are going to hide him in a cave and make him his leader. Yeah. Is, that, is that part of it? That's, that's what it was. Oh, yeah. my God. Because he because because he's like you know he's the only one who knows about it so he we consider him the god no the the episode that I but good dude 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 no no the episode that I loved that was creepy as fuck and I'm like dude this guy when when people think about threats you know you know like when you see something like taxi driving you're like yeah that guy is about to shoot somebody it was called Gates of Hell you gotta watch, if you watch any episode it's that one it's this marine who used to be in charge of the waterboarding and interrogation processes in war Ooh. so what he did now is it's like I, I don't know it's like in some um random fucking town in like montana or wyoming where he lives there which are scary places yeah he, he's got this huge plot of land and he has a you will not be able to stay till the end torture house <laughs> and, and 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 what he and and it's really weird like he He's yeah. an expert in fucking with your mind, so he'll like. They, they, they show him like they, they put a blindfold on him, a sack over his head, tie you up. Then he drives you for like sixty fucking miles, just bouncing around in the back of the pickup. And then he plays loud noises in your ear. And then you take. Then he takes. Okay, what is this for, and how is this th- legal? Th- this is just like. He, Do people sign up for it? Yeah, yeah. People say uh, you, it's you like, like a challenge. It, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a how much can you take sort of thing. Yeah, because like the all these fuck is Hanna wrong with these that people? Are popping up that like. You sign the waiver, and you're not supposed to go to if you have a heart condition and all this stuff. Yeah, because it's like except this one because he's going to torture you. To torture you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and there's no like pain involved. It's just like a mind game. Why would and why he would fucking you loves it? It's so it's so weird and messed up because he'll like. I mean, people, I guess when you when you a, when you do I what you love, never like, work a day yeah, in your life. It's better to <laughs> have him do that with people's permission than to like lose his shit and just go and do it anyway. Yeah, I was right? gonna say at least this is semi-regulated. Yeah, well, it's Montana or so wait, Wyoming, so maybe not at all. But no, well, no apparently it, it, you no, can it discharge isn't. cops' guns in Montana. So <laughs> no, no, it, it isn't regulated. Like there is no like insurance policy. You have to do everything under the table be- because okay, like, that's so fucked up. Nope. Fucked. All right. So wait, what else does he do? Like he takes you for a fun ride in his car. Is that his only job, or does he do other things? He he does that because he's like retired <laughs> off a of fucking marine. Yeah, he also works at the local Seven Eleven. Yeah, right? yeah. He yeah. does magic for kids' birthdays and bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Isn't that John Wayne Gacy? <laughs> that, it, it, he might be. It sounds kind of maybe John maybe Wayne Gacy. But well, well, when you watch the, the episode, that's what's the weirdest thing is he's taking people like. All right, I'm gonna put you underwater for the longest amount of time before you like almost drown, and then take you out. And there's people like, no. All right, I give up. I give up because he said, I, I think it was something like he'll pay you a thousand dollars if you last through it, and you sign up for free. So <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is he married? And, and so, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and the whole thing, he's just like getting. How pleasure. do you think he found his way? Like, I knew you wouldn't. Last. Yeah, right. She was the only one who lasted. <laughs> what about like his kids? Like you're gonna take. This is going to be yours someday. Yeah, who are you going to torture today, Dad? Right, you got to run Dad's torture farm. <laughs> <laughs> God. I want you to take over the family business. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dad, I don't want to torture people. <laughs> I'm my own man. You didn't. You don't mean that, son. You're a disgrace. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, I don't know. It's a good show. You've had that dog for a week, and you haven't even dismembered anything. Go to your room. Oh, no. Okay. That episode was called McCoffee Experience. The other episode I liked is called Gates of Hell. Gates of Hell is like... Was was it in rural Wisconsin? Because (laughs) (laughs) that's where I'm fairly certain the Gates of Hell are. No, no. Gates of Hell was in that town I was telling you about, about the the dictator who like, you know, if you talk about him, you get killed. Oh, yeah. And there's, there's, there's like a crater in the ground where there's constantly oil seeping up. What? And somebody threw like a match down... Like sixty years ago, and it never stopped burning. Oh, like like Silent Hill. I I yeah yeah like that. Yeah. Although that was a coal oh, fire. That's, that's based that's on an actual place. Yeah, S- Centralia. Yeah, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, it they said uh, I think they said it'll still yeah. burn for another two thousand years. years. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what does he do there? He just goes and oh, hangs no, out. Oh, I, I saw that was interesting. That's that's what I remember. I didn't know that. It, like I never heard of that before. All right. Well, you heard it here. Check it out. Dark yep. Tourist, available on Netflix. Uh, the podcast is not available on Netflix, but someday, maybe? Someday. Uh, someday. You can always dream. Perfect. You guys down for a funny Ross story, then? Always. Ooh, can I? Uh, yeah. I met Ross, so. Yeah. If you 
Yeah, Ross is, uh, you know, Dino Bosco, one of our favorites on the show, right? Mm-hmm. Fan well, favorite. So we went to go see P. Lander Z, which I mentioned before, a Japanese punk band. They dress up like Power Rangers. They have a great live show. They interact with the crowd directly. And I forgot to tell you one thing earlier about why what made it funnier. So the first thing that happened, I don't even know what the first thing was that I mentioned about him going to this fucking... I didn't even mention what he did at this show, right? No, well, no, no. So for our listeners, yeah, yeah. No, in general, no. It, what happened is first, um, one of one of my brother's friends, he couldn't stop asking him if he's gay because he was suspicious of him. So he kept doing that the whole night. Wait, like, Ross kept asking him. Yeah, Ross kept asking, him, <laughs> dude. What? Just, just fucking tell me. Just tell me now. Just tell me the whole fucking night. So then he gets drunk more, and then he choke slams somebody outside. Because he thought he was like trying to take his cigarettes, and then um, one of the so okay. so Pilander Z is Japanese. Yeah. So they had like some of their like tour management come with, and they couldn't speak good English. So Ross, because you know we all know he has because <laughs> he because gr- he knows Kenji, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is well, and, and he definitely doesn't have a speech impediment in English. He's trying to teach this Japanese for how to speak English. <laughs> oh, this I would pay money to see this. Oh my no, god. No, this is what you do in Chicago. This is what you, everybody and, and, and you know he does this where where he starts trying to I every time he tries to do the Jersey Italian accent, he sounds like he's doing ebonics to me, but he keeps saying, you know, yeah, you know I'm Italian cuz I do this and, and I'm like, "No, I I don't see it, man." I don't see it, dude. And then, so he's trying to tell this Korean person. And then, you know how he ended it? He goes, "Yeah, this is how we do shit in America." And he goes to light his cigarette. And I'm watching, and I'm like, "All right, let's see how long this fucking goes." He smoked half his filter because he put it in the back. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! Oh, so oh, he, that's so bad. That, that I've done exa- that before. That, that I was definitely a great smoked example. a filter on accident. Oh, so, so that that was a great you know tourist experience for how we do shit in America. You know, smoke your fucking cigarettes backwards. <laughs> God, I hope they still talk about that. I right? mean, they, they he had to have been a memorable experience <laughs> right? for them. Oh, my God. I, I don't remember what... I, I think that was yeah, the other concert story that I remember about him. God. So, Sandry got to meet him I last did. weekend. I did. I got to meet him. Uh, he didn't challenge me to a fist fight in the brewery, but oh. Bill walked into a wall, sure and did. I got blamed for it. <laughs> was uh, he supposed to challenge you to a fist fight? Um, he's been talking shit. Yeah. So... So apparently the first time I learned any Ross stories was on the podcast and I I made some sort of off color comment about him I yeah. guess I don't remember exactly I was He was mad that, drunk, that you were laughing about the w- so we saw like long story short we saw Jello in the Guantanamo yeah. school and I wanted I wanted to meet him so we were front row and Jello you know he talks like with his lisp and he's very sarcastic he was like, so, and this was before Trump was president. He's just like, so, you know, <laughs> why don't we just build the wall to get rid of the Mexicans, right? That's the best option. And he's being sarcastic. Well, Ross is a little special little darling. So he <laughs> goes, yeah, <laughs> fuck the Mexicans. He just screams it. And I'm like, you motherfucker. How am I going to meet this guy now? Because <laughs> everybody, he, he looked right at me. And I'm just like, I'm not with this guy. That's, <laughs> that sounds exactly like you walking into a fucking wall. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. And, and so I was telling the story, and yeah, you found it really funny. And then we also were talking about how he, d- he didn't want to, okay, he didn't want to go to Slayer, I know, because he's very dedicated to working at jewel oh he's a poser yeah so he called us posers and we were calling him posers the whole episode and i think he got, that's what he got mad at sure. so we so we i said, mean i definitely did talk a little shit so sure. <laughs> like so there's but, bad bad yeah, blood there's here. bad blood so uh, he said he was gonna fight zach he, he called me an ass. asshole on one of them i think and then the last well two episode 11 a lot, a lot of talk about my tight butthole. And I don't understand where, <laughs> yeah, about was, uh, yeah. where that came from. But no, it's really nice, very cordial. When I met him, I shook his hand. No, uh, no threats of violence. Yeah, it was weird. I expected not that to happen. Yeah, but well, it, in my experience, whenever someone makes threats like that, and then you actually see them in person, they never go through with it. You're talking I know, about but Z- I was, Zach Carter. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so I walked into a wall. They cut us <laughs> off, and all right. Let me let me tell it from my perspective. Sure. Here. 
uh, quick shout out to our good friend Eric Roos, who can go fuck himself for this. <laughs> so <laughs> man, you're just starting all sorts of fights. <laughs> I hope he listens. He's going to be nice the next time he sees you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this will definitely <laughs> that'll, this will do it. Tell him, to, tell him to go fuck himself. That, uh, that'll right. help. So special shout out to our beloved friend, Eric. Okay, so we're walking back in from a cigarette. We're walking across this brewery tap house floor. I, oh, I'm wearing the hat, aren't I? Were you wearing Or This is the hat. This is the hat of the brewery. Yeah. Oh, it's on yeah. tour, yeah. yeah. So this we were at on tour. On tour, great place over in West Town. It's That's right. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um. We're walking through this tap house, and there's like a cordoned off section for like private events that has these like glass, like window wall yeah. sort of deals. And they're on the right side in the hallway that we're going to to go from outside to the bathroom. There's a ton of people there, very crowded in this little section because there was a private event going on, and then it was just packed because it was what, a Friday? Was uh, it Friday? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a Friday. Um, I'm trying to direct him through. These people ish, and just to add to that, it's now probably around eight thirty nine p.m. and I had been drinking there since two p.m. I wasn't sober either, <laughs> <laughs> but but I keep yelling at him left, left because he's walking straight towards this fucking wall, and I and he's not either not hearing me or not listening. I'm a bad boy. I play by my own rules. And then he walked into the fucking wall, <laughs> but which would have been all right, except for the fact that Eric immediately blames me vocally and publicly going zach what did you do (laughs) and all of these people look the fuck at me and go you just let a blind man into a wall you piece of shit then we got cut off did he he tell you that he was fucking with you when he said that or no he just it was no i did what are you doing i don't know whether he was serious or not (laughs) but but regardless everyone there thought he was serious yeah including ross yeah, who did who did try and help? Yeah, Ross snapped right into action. You know, I don't like to hear that Ross isn't going to live up to his, you know, statements because he was supposed to fuck that girl that he met at the hardcore show on the podcast next episode. Oh, is that was that part of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah were we going to try and network? Like, yeah, we. Were, I was actually I was going to. I hope Ross doesn't hear this. I was going <laughs> to talk to her because he's kind of shy. I was going to be like, Yo, Ross definitely wants to fuck you on this podcast for some reason. And then we were just going to have a serious conversation, pretending it's not happening. So, <laughs> oh, like talking like while it's going on. Yeah, yeah, that'd that, be interesting. Why I like is that. my glass bouncing all over the place? I'm going to put it over here. Yeah, right. We'll have to talk louder. Right. Uh, edgy, edgy. I like it. That'll be like a special feature for our loyal listeners. It'll be a bonus episode. I mean, I I like that. There's a there's a blur, uh, like plugin on YouTube that you can use. So if you know if we you know it's considered porn. We got that taken care of. Nice. That's perfect. Right? Man, that... I think our show would really take off. Yeah. If we, like, incorporated sex. Right. Like, not even just, like, Ross. Hey, man. Sex sells. Exactly right. I like the new marketing direction we're taking. Let's move towards that. We're going to have a shitload of... I mean, that might be... Like you said, the marketing director. We're going to have a shitload of virgins. That's right. Who don't end up living up to their fights wanting to fuck (laughs) people on our show. (laughs) (laughs) That's the exact demographic we're going for. That perfect. Good. Uh, you know, as weird as that marketing thing, you know, I was thinking about like, I keep getting wor- more and more mad about how my kid, like, he, it'll, it'll, whether, whether it's a nice day or not, he'll be like, oh, I, I still talk to my friends. I'm like, dude, you haven't fucking talked to them in like two weeks. First we move here. You got no friends. Now you got like 20 and now you don't, you're like, oh, I get so sick of them. And he's like, no, I talk to them. We talk all the time on Fortnite. So it's like a virtual fucking world that's that's happening right now. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what would a- I think what would actually make a good ton of money because of people getting so disconnected? Have like a Uber friend. Sort of like that eighties rent a friend. <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> oh my god, no. You don't think no? I, I think it would make money. Oh totally. There's, well, there's plenty you of could people out there that would go for something like that, I'm sure. Well and plus I, I, th- this turns real quickly into prostitution. <laughs> That you know, that's what <laughs> Kelly says. She's like, "Isn't that called abduction? <laughs> like, like if you're meeting strangers for money?" <laughs> yeah, th- there's no, there's no good ending to that. Sure, because that gets abused immediately. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell if it's prostitution unless it's like. A, I know. A really Isn't that the fucking problem? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you wouldn't be able to tell if it's prostitution? <laughs> I'm dedicated <laughs> in my hourly union wages. <laughs> no tips. <laughs> Fuck me in the ass now. <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't know how many times, at least for me, it's like, oh, I want to go, but I don't want to go alone. So it's like, oh, maybe I won't yeah. go to that show. I hear no, that. I was get more friends. That. Yeah. I don't know. Nowadays, oh. I usually <laughs> well, prefer I, to go alone. No, that, that uh, shit happens to me all the time yeah, because see, no one ever wants to do shit with, that I want to do. Uber friend. You've always got someone to go with you, and they can be really peppy. Or you could get like a sad one. I feel like there is. Can you like? Can you sad? Can you suggest <laughs> that like different <laughs> classes of friends? I don't know. Sometimes you're not always upbeat, and sometimes like super bubbly people. Like you know. I need a. That's Vir- why I, was <laughs> I need a Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking about how like you know when you get drivers, they have like an entire description, what kind of car they drive, what stars the reviews. So <laughs> I've have, like, never I, once I know how read to act that description. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you could. I be just on, get into people's cars, which, in retrospect, is probably going to bite me <laughs> in the ass at some point. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Cancel the ride? Like, that oh, also I don't turn like them. Prostitution, pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. More than one road. But apparently, I'm going about this all wrong. Well, no, well, no. I'm saying, like, with Uber Friend, you could have like a descri- like this will be the guy who makes the most money. I am very good at acting really dumb. You can put me down the whole time. You know, right? I'm very <laughs> ugly. You will look <laughs> much better by comparison. <laughs> It'll turn into something like fucking. The beginning of Hannibal when he makes him cut his face off and feeds him to the pigs. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, put right. that in the business plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be just like Hannibal. <laughs> Looking for new investors, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The best way I can explain this idea is you remember it's, Hannibal? It's Uber for serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if it makes money, man, we need, some people want that shit. Uber for serial killers? Yes, yeah. I'm sure serial killers would love that. I'm all for it. Victims on demand. <laughs> Victims on demand, yeah. VOD. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> that sounds like a new Netflix show. V- get Victims on Demand. <laughs> Brought to you by whatever, hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a special shout out to our corporate sponsors, whatever, hot chocolate. They make a quality product. <laughs> <laughs> you know... So I, I got to mention this before I forget. So you, you know, it's a really crazy story I heard recently that I, I thought was pretty funny. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention his name anymore because of certain complaints. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but somebody I know that's really close to me is a teacher. And they teach at, well, well, I don't know, we'll, we'll call him Glue Stick, okay? My my friend Glue Stick is a teacher at this place called Espira. Do I know this friend? You you, you know this friend. He's a, he's a multitasker. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, we, we'll, I get it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, I'll, I'll see it later because I don't. Oh, you're. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, I know exactly. Don't make me edit more. <laughs> I'm sorry. glad you didn't say sorry. that. <laughs> no, but okay. any, Anyways, this person, they're a teacher, and they're uh, they're part of this um, program. Like when you start, just like every job, when you start out anywhere, you got to start off at the fucking bottom. So they work for this company called Aspira, which is I don't know why I mentioned before they're strictly. Like, uh, like not cared for Latino youth. So it's all fucking gangbangers, and it's all strictly Latino. I don't know why. He doesn't even speak Spanish. So, but anyways, he works at this uh school, and it reminded me of. You remember when you were talking about like your weird science teacher, uh, Bill, when they, uh, put a bunch of bees on pins yeah. to pollinate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was this teacher at the school. Wait, hang on. Before you continue, is this going to be like one of those stories where, uh, glue stick goes in to the school of like ne'er do well. Like unmotivated kids, and he gives them the courage and the strength to like aspire for more. I don't know what to do about yeah. these kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is this is this a feel good story? I think I guess, I guess it depends on who you are. If you're a weirdo like me, it's pretty feel good. No, <laughs> all right, all right, continue. Good. No, That's <laughs> no, no, no. He uh, so one of the teachers there, um, he brought in a they were they were about to do, do, like learn about anatomy of animals or something so like on the way to school like last like it was just like on the fucking way he finds a dead bird he's like yeah you know what we should rip the part out of this bird in class today so he brought a dead bird to class <laughs> to dissect what and, and don't you have to get that stuff like cleared by an administrator <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know it's good teachers getting involved exactly yeah, right, right. He cares cleanup? about yeah. So he cares about his job. Yeah. So so he brings it in, and I guess one of the, the I guess one of the gangbangers. It was too much from yeah, man. That was fucked up. <laughs> Damn burn, you know. But yeah, because that's <laughs> fucked up. <Yeah. laughs> but but to somebody who he was like it, after a drive by, yeah, man, I fucking kill that motherfucker. Then I just see some fucked up shit, a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was in the middle of a drive. I, I was having a good day. Drove by some motherfuckers, and then I see this dead bird. 
in class, you know. But <laughs> you shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, so, so, <laughs> so, so this, so, this, so one of the people, one of the students complained, and the teacher got fired. And it was so fucking weird. Because, okay, I don't know if this <laughs> is has that fire. That's a we- that's a really weird. Wait, hang on. What, so what how, is weird about any of this? What do you guys think is so weird about a teacher I, bringing a dead bird into class? I, I, I no, no. The weird part is <laughs> is that to get okay. So in the school, because all all the schools. How now, does he fill out applications for like why did you leave your prior place? Yeah, right? where I brought in a dead I've, bird. I have experience in you know. On the spot anatomy. I just find it. <laughs> On the spot anatomy. <laughs> Better not find an old lady changing a tire. <laughs> but Careful with that one. <laughs> On the no, spot but anatomy. So, so, no, the, the Brought part to you by weir- VOD. The part that got weirder is, like, it's not like the old days with chalk and actual fucking books and, you know, lead in the walls. They Everybody has tablets now. So you can contact students like, hey, are you having, you know, problem with math? Just... Chat with me uh, whenever the fuck you want. This teacher kept his tablet, and right after he got fired, he sent everyone in the school a video. It's just him and a student, like, with their shirts off, smoking weed. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You can go to jail for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, yeah, I didn't give a fuck about this school. Here's what we're learning now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Where did their shirts go? I didn't, well, this is the, painting. I didn't, didn't want to mention of a but the, very but the, interesting person. I, I didn't want to mention it, but the students were real thug, and the teacher was real gay, and now weed was involved. So, uh, yeah. So, but man. love. So, is he fucking it, the student, or dude? You're weird. You're messed up. I was thinking. I was going to call it extra credit, man. <laughs> sex extra credit. <laughs> yeah, sex extra credit. Is that how it works after you get fired, though? I yeah, I get. Well, he just kept the tablet, and then, and then, like <laughs> fuck you guys, like. I kind of did a, my little fuck you. I kept all the staplers I, I fucking took from my job. No, no like I, I, this. This is how desperate I was because I was shitty. I, he I took a to, kid when he left. Yeah. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm not telling my story. Yeah, but we need the tablet back. <laughs> you can keep the kid. Yeah. But I'm I wasn't going to mention the school the supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Those, that stuff's expensive. <laughs> No, I'm not kidding, dude. I was so desperate at that. I, I, I think I mentioned the office job where I got a panic attack. They didn't pay shit, so I fucking. They had like one cabinet where they have a whole two years of all supplies: permanent markers, notepads, staplers, fucking staple removers. And I was just gonna pack like a suitcase full of them and sell them in the parking lot because school year was starting. Oh, my God. No one's buying blacklisted, <laughs> like, black market school Anybody supplies. Need you, no are the weirdest, <laughs> you are the weirdest door-to-door salesman. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I'd have to spice it up, you know, kind of like the kids with the candy so bars. a little, like, carnival tent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Inglewood. I wasn't brought up right. You want a notebook, you know? Yeah, I don't know if that's your good pitch. I can juggle these, good too, pitch. in my carnival <laughs> <laughs> I had a bad upbringing. Please Watch buy me juggle it. these Please. staplers. Yeah, staplers right. are on sale. Pay Please extra, support my baseball team. To me. Yeah, <laughs> there what you was, go. Was that was that a jackass? Where they stapled stuff to him? I uh, forgot. I used to do that stuff. I know, that but stuff's I, not very hard. I forgot. What, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Somebody stapled like a note to themselves to to not forget. I don't. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Whatever. Well, there's like I mean, you ever staple your nutsack to each part of your legs so you got like. Just like a big, you know, so it whistles big when the breeze comes by. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People pay a lot to do that to somebody, you know. What? That that yeah, might have been like jackass. A, that's, a, that's a big S and M thing. When I'm saying st- I've huh. done that. Yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. That. Did it? W- did it whistle? No, it didn't whistle. But I made a lot of money. Oh, how much? How much did they pay to sip? I got a hundred bucks all together for that. Oh, I don't know if I could do a hundred bucks. I don't know about you guys. I mean, we could split it. Like I throw in fifty, <laughs> you throw in fifty. Yeah. You know, fifty each side. Yeah. No, I'm saying to staple your nutsack for a hundred bucks, not pay the money. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I'm we're confused. confused. Yeah. yeah. Are we paying someone to staple us or not? Uh, Fuck. Although getting, that that happens paid too. By somebody so that they can staple you. Really? Yeah. There's a weird gray area too, where it's sort of legal, like dominatrix, like that sort of stuff. Without full penetration, is like legal, sort of. There are dungeons like there are dungeons in Chicago. Yeah. I only know about this because one of I, my friends I, is into that, yeah, like so really I into a that lot community. Of that do that stuff. Yeah, 
Uber <laughs> friend. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> Victim of, victims on demand. We got it. Right? I like how torture has become the theme for this episode. Right? It's appropriate for a Halloween special, episode 13. <laughs> yeah. Even though, even though September. it's September. <laughs> September 1st. Yeah, Kelly's Kelly was because I'm gonna have like a Halloween engagement party, but it's two weeks before Halloween. I'm like, why the fuck aren't we having it the week before? Because it's my brother's birthday. I'm like, yeah, but and no one will no, show up. No one cares about him because it's <laughs> right before Halloween. Well, you think this is a theme? This is a way of life. Yeah, <sighs> it's true. Anyway, you guys want to take a quick break? We can yeah. regroup, focus. I'll smoke a cigarette. I'm See gonna smoke some weed with some students and my shirt off. <laughs> hey, <laughs> man, you seen Julio? Like he got into Mr. Hofstetter's car and he hasn't been back. He left his shirt here too. <laughs> All the evidence we have is a trail of dead birds and feathers. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, I love the public school system. <laughs> and on that note, we'll be right back. We'll be right Stay back. tuned. I think when we come back, I want to talk about Sanji and I's getaway to Milwaukee, <laughs> and uh, and whatever else comes our way. So thanks. Stay tuned. Es nest nam hai